the growing popularity of electric vehicles and energy storage pushes up demand for batteries, the question is whether there will be sufficient supply of key metals and minerals. How big a role do you think recycling can play in helping to meet demand for these raw materials? Right now in the U.S. there are far more electric vehicle factories and battery cell factories under construction than there are supply for those metals. So in the near term, unfortunately, those facilities will largely be reliant on imported materials. Better recycling can play a large role in the near term as we take end-of-life batteries and manufacturing defects, are able to recover individual elements, and are able to return them to the domestic supply chain. So recycling is important for closing the loop. But the more important thing is we also have to fill the loop that first time. So we as a company both have a battery recycling division and we also have a primary metals division where we own large amounts of land in central Nevada, which has a lithium bearing resource. And we've developed a technology for how to access that lithium and how to make a battery grade lithium hydroxide material domestically. So by combining both battery recycling in the near term and primary metal manufacturing in the longer term, we can work to address our domestic needs. In theory, the idea of a circular economy sounds great, but are there any barriers? For example, is there enough recycling capacity? Is there enough scrap material? And is recycling actually cost effective and efficient? Recycling in the US is, is very new, so it's a very illiquid market still. So there isn't a mature technology or logistic systems for collecting end-of-life material, for packaging and transporting them, and for processing them at central utilities. So as that matures, it'll become even more cost-effective. Unfortunately, many of the existing battery recycling plants in the U.S. are legacy technologies that were really meant for recycling more of scrap metals, where they can physically feed in batteries, but they really aren't purpose-built systems. So the commercial facility that we at American Battery Technology Company are just completing and going through commissioning is a purpose-built process specifically designed for recycling lithium-ion batteries. We were able to recover 11 different types of products and actually return them to the domestic supply chain to help to close that loop. What scale is American Battery Technology Company operating at right now and what, what are the next steps for you? We're currently completing construction and going through commissioning of our first commercial scale facility, which will process about 20,000 metric tons per year of batteries. That's a moderate sized facility. It's about five gigawatt hours per year worth of batteries on an energy basis. So right now in the US, we have about 50 gigawatt hours per year of manufacturing capacity. And when you include the factories under construction, that grows to about 600 gigawatt hours per year. So eventually, per geographic region, we'll need the same throughput of recycling to match the throughput of manufacturing. So right now, manufacturing is growing much more quickly than recycling. So we're working to ramp up recycling capacity to match the throughput of manufacturing so that we can close the loop domestically. Battery recycling could be key to the US developing a domestic battery supply chain to rival China. Are the right policies in place to support growth? There's obviously the tailwind of the Inflation Reduction Act, but is that enough? It's a good start. So the infrastructure bill from about a year and a half ago provided a lot of support to build capital scale projects to have actually build facilities beyond the R&D level. So we at American Battery Technology Company were fortunate enough to win two grants recently funded from this infrastructure bill. So one is to support a $20 million project to enhance our battery recycling facility near Reno, Nevada. And the second is to support a $115 million project to build our first commercial scale refinery in central Nevada to make our battery grade lithium hydroxide from claystone material. And then with the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, it really has put a, a premium on domestic source materials in addition to being recycled and to being you know, low environmental impact. So this incentive and value add for decimate material from the Inflation Reduction Act is really helping to complement a lot of the funds available from the infrastructure bill. So infrastructure really provided the, the push to the market to really help get facilities built. And then the Inflation Reduction Act is much more the pull to give us higher value for our products and to increase their demand. So those two bills really work in tandem to help support the domestic critical materials industry.